Okay, welcome to the next video. This is SAT Official Exam 2, uh, Math No Calculator section. So that's section 3. First question, if 5x plus 6 equals 10, what is the value of 10x plus 3? Okay, so the first step is we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. We get 5x equals 4, then divide by 5 on both sides and get x equals 4 fifths. Now we have to plug this in for x here. So we get 10 times 4 fifths plus 3. Now we can do 10 divided by 5 first, that gives 2. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Answer choice C. Now there's a little shortcut here where we can stop when we get to 5x equals 4 and double both sides. That would give us 10x equals 8. Then we could plug in for the entire thing of 10x. So it would be 8 plus 3, which also equals 11. All right, question 2. So here we have a system of equations that we need to solve, and the best way perhaps to do it uh, is by uh, elimination method. So we can double the top equation, so that would get us 2x plus 2y equals 0. Then we can use stack and solve. Adding the x gives us 5x, and adding the y's cancels out, and 10 plus 0 is 10. Then divide by 5, you get x equals to 2. Now the only choice with x equals 2 is choice B. If there was another choice, we'd have to plug in to find out what y is, uh, in which case we'd find it's negative 2. <coughs> Question 3. The landscaping company estimates that the price of a job in dollars using the expression 60 plus 12 NH. So the price equals 60... Oops. Uh, 60 plus 12 n each and the price is in dollars so this number is in dollars and each term would also be in dollars so this all together is in dollars okay and represents the number of landscapers okay so let's see n is the number of landscapers h is going to be the total number of hours the job will take so H is in hours. The question reads, uh, which of the following is the best interpretation of the number 12 in the expression? So the number 12 has a certain units, which we don't know. Let's just call it units for now. And when we multiply 12 and H, uh, the unit that we would like to get is dollars. So what we can do is we can put this over here and make an equation. Okay. So um, that means that units times, if we just look at the units, it's units times landscapers, landscapers times hours. That would have to equal um, dollars. So if we isolate for the units, we would divide by landscapers and hours. Um, and they would land here landscapers and hours. So we would end up with units is equal to dollars over landscapers times hours. And another way to say this is dollars per landscaper per hour. Okay. So now let's see which choice matches up with that. The company charges $12 per hour for each landscaper. For each also means per. So $12 per hour per landscaper. <clears throat> this is exactly the right thing that we were looking for. All right, question four. Uh, 9a to the fourth plus 12a squared b squared plus 4b to the fourth, which of the following is equivalent to the expression shown above? So one way we could do it is with factoring, but perhaps an easier way would be to actually uh, figure out what the answer choices are equivalent to. So instead of square, let's actually foil this out. So the first would give us 9a to the fourth. The inner would be 6a squared b squared. And the outer would also be 6a squared b squared. And then the last would be 4b to the fourth. So if we combined these, we get 12a squared b squared is 4b to the fourth. And that matches the original, so this is our correct answer here. Okay, on to question five. 
uh, if k is greater than 0 and x equals 7 in the equation above, what is the value of k? So the first thing I would do is I would just add x to each side. 2x squared plus 17 is equal to x. And now we know that x is 7. We could actually plug in 7 here. And now we want to square both sides to get rid of the square root. So 2k squared plus 17 equals 49. Now we can minus 17 from both sides. So 2k squared is equal to uh, 32. Divide by 2, k squared equals 16. Square root both sides, k equals uh, 4. And don't forget the plus or minus whenever you square root both sides. Alternatively, if you prefer, you can actually solve it via the uh, um, <clears throat> difference of two squares factoring. So you get k plus 4 to minus 4 equals 0, t chart k equals 4, k equals minus 4. So that's another option if you don't like to have to remember the plus or minus. But anyway, yeah, the answer is plus 4.